Welcome to the Race in a Box, brought to you by Run for Phil. I'm Grant Carlisle, and today we're going to talk about veteran runners being good stewards. All right, so first off, veteran runners. Local runners, people who consider themselves regular runners, or people who have in the past run often enough to have tips and tricks about training, about running races, and running together in groups. So this can be anything from a race-focused experience, a training on the road experience, a training in groups, a running for physical therapy, or simply running for fitness and health. So if you consider yourself a veteran runner, as I've just defined it, then let's switch over to stewardship. With respect to running for a philanthropic event, these running events are being put on at the end of the day either for a monetary, financial, a promotion and awareness, or simply a cause that camaraderie needs built around. So, being a good steward for one of these philanthropic running events means two things. Helping the run portion and helping the awareness and cause. So, if you're a veteran runner, anyone in your local community who wants to step up and be more active, be it next step walking, be it next step running their first mile, or running their first sub 10 minute mile, running their first 5K, walking their first 5K. Choose an example of someone wanting to get more active and you as a veteran runner can help that person. That would be a good steward. You're being a good steward to that person and thus the community at large. So anyone within your reality, be it family members, coworkers, vendors, etc. Those people are people you can impact. Even the person you buy groceries from or get coffee from every day. Those people are who you can be a good steward to. And in that realm, in respect to running. Now, the white space where it might be new to you is the promotion, awareness, and philanthropy that goes along with a philanthropic running race. All right. So, for example, choose your favorite running cause, be it diabetes, um, heart, heart disease, cancer, breast cancer, etc. Let's say it's diabetes. When you're discussing with someone their activity, that initial conversation doesn't always have to be running. Could it be disease that you care about or has touched you personally or someone you care about personally. If it has, then that initial conversation can be about the cause. It can be about the diabetes research. It can be about the cancer treatment. It can be about the heart disease awareness. So that initial conversation, you can still be a good steward by starting with the philanthropy and steering that conversation over to the running using the event as a tool to do so, or using your own experience to do so. But being a good steward means the running side and promoting the event from a philanthropic side so that you can focus on the philanthropy as well. We'll talk more about being a good steward of the philanthropy and how that percolates into all the idiosyncrasies that come along with the event. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, where you can help us connect philanthropic running.